It was a shocking revelation earlier this month. A college sophomore and seemingly healthy athlete diagnosed with a malignant skin cancer. Kentucky defensive end John Pascal diagnosed with malignant melanoma in early August, serving as a sign for everyone. We should pay more attention to our skin, even if we don't feel like anything is wrong. That is why doctors are constantly pushing cancer screenings. And for the past 30 years, doctors have offered free cancer screenings at the Kentucky State Fair this year. No exception. Joining us this afternoon is Dr. Tim Brown, a professor with UofL's Division of Dermatology. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Brown. Okay. Talking about these screenings, how they are very popular, correct? Yes, every year we average about 1500 people that take advantage of it from this you know, from the fair. Mm -hmm. And what kind of screenings, kind of walk us through what goes on with these screenings. Sure, you, all it takes is your admission to the fair, the fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. You, um, there's a lot of offerings as far as uh, um, health related screenings, but skin cancer screening is the one that we have. And basically you, um, you register yourself and then you actually wait and then um, one of the young ladies will take you in and we will literally, we have like an office-like setting mm -hmm. where we will actually do a visual screening. We'll look at anything that you are concerned about and we will talk about your risk factors and you know, we're specifically looking for skin cancer. That's the purpose of the screening. And you say you're looking for skin cancer as a doctor, because us as laymen, we may look in the mirror and see, okay, everything looks fine. But as a doctor, you guys are trained uh, to look for more specific things. What is it you're looking for? You know, every time that I look at a lesion, I'm, I'm doing an assessment. Mm -hmm. I'm looking, number one, is it symmetric or is it asymmetric? I'm looking at the border. Is the border nice and regular? Is it um, well-defined? I'm looking at the color. I want the color to be the same throughout. I, would, I do not want it to be black over here, brown over here. I want it to be the same color. What Next, do those tell you if, if you have that, if it's asymmetrical or they have that different color? Well, it, it tells me that it's more likely to be precancerous or cancerous. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we also look at the diameter of the lesion. We like for it to be about the size of a pencil eraser or smaller. Mm -hmm. And lastly, the most important factor is, is it changing? So I'm going to mm -hmm. ask you, has that lesion changed? Is it bigger than it was? Has it raised? Has it changed color? Has it changed shape? Mm -hmm. Any of those things are very important to me, deciding whether it needs to be biopsied or monitored. And melanoma can be treated successfully, correct? Sure. If you catch it early, we have a, um, a very high cure rate. Most melanomas that we see now are thin melanomas, and we have over a 90% cure rate for those types of melanomas. All right, Dr. Tim Brown with the Division of Dermatology at the University of Louisville. Thank you very much. These screeners are going to be held every day at the Kentucky State Fair from 930 in the morning until 630 at night, and you can get screened in the South Wing. They are first come, first served. Dr. Brown, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.